Hi, welcome back. I'm David Zito, and welcome to another home DIY project. First and foremost, I want to thank all 200 plus subscribers who have joined the family. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, consider subscribing, hit that like button to let us know that you like our videos. We know we haven't posted it in a while. We've been taking care of the family, traveling a little bit. If you're interested in following us on our daily lives outside of building things and making projects, please follow us on our Zito Vlogs channel. But we are back. We have a couple projects in line to show everyone. Uh, so please look forward to that. So moving on, in today's video, we are building an L-shaped desk. Instead of having to sit at a dining room table, as you can see that I am doing right now, which is not as comfortable as it looks, we decided to build an L-shaped desk that would fit perfectly in our loft. So this is a bit of an IKEA hack where we are using a Mickey, I think that's how it's pronounced, Mickey drawers from IKEA. We will use a set of two to build the ends of the L-shaped table. And then we're going to wrap those drawers with a pine wood. The pine wood that we selected had an interesting design in it. It had many pieces that were sandwiched together to create a staggered pattern. We thought this was a great design for an office desk, so we went with it. It was also really inexpensive. We loved the flush look of miter cuts, and so that's what we decided to do for the corners. As you'll see later on, it's not the cleanest, but I think we did okay. We wanted something a little wider. And so what we did was drilled pocket holes on one side and joined them together with glue and screws. To glue them all together and let it dry, we built this contraption that held all of the boards together. These small pieces are what's going to be used for the drawers. After the glue has dried, we use 50 grit sandpaper to sand out the seam and remove any of the excess glue. Next up, we stained all of the boards with an espresso color, the one that we've used before in all of our other projects. It's a nice color, so we keep using it. For the corner of the L-shaped table, we used an IKEA leg that they have in stock that you could just install. We removed the clear coat that they had on the leg with sandpaper and stained it the same color as the table. After the stain has dried, we applied a polyurethane clear coat similar to what we've done in other projects. After the clear coat has dried, we used a 22 grit sandpaper to smooth out the imperfections. After that, we cleaned up the dust and it was ready to be installed. So the first thing we did was glue all of the panels up against the IKEA drawers. This required a lot of clamps and a lot of glue. We installed the legs for support. We glued the tabletop on top of the drawer. In this corner, you'll see that we did the miter cuts and we tried to join them together. There is a bit of a seam that you can see 
Uh, it wasn't a perfect cut where they were able to join together, but we made it work. Once we have both pieces together, we join them at the 45 degree angle to make the L shape. The center was glued and clamped down and we just waited for it to dry. To add the finishing touches, we drilled holes for the handles. We decided on a gold accent. And also, to give it a little bit of a pop, we had excess pine wood that we stained the same color and glued to fill in the gaps between the drawers. Even though it looks pretty good from afar, there are some minor things that I would have changed that could have made things a lot more smoother in the build. First up, I wouldn't have made the miter cuts. I would have just used straight cuts to join the corners. I would also go away from the 45 degree angle cut to join the two big tabletop pieces together. That was a lot more work than what it needed to be. If it was just a straight cut and just glued together, that would have been so much simpler and it would have done the same job. We do like the IKEA hacks. It made things a lot easier by having a pre-built drawer and just made a big difference. We'll do a lot more IKEA hacks in the future. This was a really interesting project. Uh, we hope to upload a lot more in the future. We do have a list of projects to improve some of the things in our house. Please be sure to stay tuned. Thank you and take care.